The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. How early should you plant soybeans? Should you plant soybeans before corn? Those are questions we hear more and more every year as growers look for ways to boost yield. University of Illinois plant physiology professor Fred Bilo tackled those questions uh, in a recent presentation at the 2022 Ontario Agricultural Conference, and he joins me today to share some thoughts. Hi, Fred. Hey, thanks for joining me on Soybean School. Yeah, pleasure, Bern. Hey, now, we hear more and more about planting soybeans early. But, you know, is the weather still the real factor that determines when we should plant soybeans? Yeah, well, of course, the weather determines everything when it comes to planting date and when it comes to yield. But uh, but I'll tell you what we're learning is that uh, uh, soybean can actually germinate under cold conditions just like corn. And we're seeing a real trend to plant soybean before corn. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's a couple of there's a couple of reasons for this. You know, back way back when I was a student, I learned that soybean had a higher base temperature, the minimum temperature required uh, for germination. I learned it was 55. Actually, that's not true. Soybean has the same base temperature as corn, 50 degrees. So re- you remember the old days when we used to bin run soybean. You know, we saved the seed back and planted it, and, my, and we didn't treat it. And my guess was we actually needed to have a higher soil temperature <laughs> in order to assure they emerged when we were doing that. But now you know we have premium seed, and it's all treated. And so this gives us a huge opportunity to plant soybean earlier. Now, Fred, based on that, I mean, does it make sense from a yield perspective? Can we get a, you know, a better return on those soybeans if we go out and plant them before corn? Is, is there a payback there in making that switch? Yeah, that's, that's definitely what we're, what we're seeing. You know, soybean yield is all about getting that, getting that canopy closed as quick as you can. Boy, if you can have leaves over the canopy by the longest day, you know, on the summer solstice, that means I intercept more sunlight. And one of the ways to do that with soybean is to plant it early. Here's another thing compared to corn. Everybody knows that corn has to have uniform emergence. Oh boy, that plant that emerges a couple days later, it's a weed. But soybean emergence isn't anywhere near as crucial as it is with corn. And that's because, you know, the, the plant makes its yield in August, not right out of the ground. And so we're actually seeing that uh, it makes a lot of sense to, to wait till the conditions are right for the corn. And if you're itching to go, put the soybean in first. Now, Fred, I mean, we're seeing data to support this as well. I mean, we, we had uh, Sean Connolly from Wisconsin on last year, done a lot of work on this that shows, you know, that, that benefit of planting early. Now, you've done some research, obviously, in Illinois. You've got eight um, years of data. Tell us what you've learned. So I'll tell you what we did. This is not a planning date study, but what we did is we went back and we looked at eight years worth of research of when we planted our soybean trials. So each year we probably have five to 15 individual soybean trials. We're looking at a lot of things, but guess what? They all have a control. And so we went back over eight years, all of the trials that we planted, and we looked at what the control yield was and what we discovered was that uh, every day after April 23rd that we planted soybean, we lost almost a half a bushel a day for every day after April 23rd. I mean, the, the ease, the single biggest thing we could do to increase yield was to put the crop in early. Now, Fred, I guess it sort of leads to an obvious question. Now, you, your data starts obviously April 23rd. The question is, how early is too early? You know, how, yeah. how, do, how do you make that decision? That's a good question. You know, that, that's where weather forecasting comes in. You know, this year, this year we planted on April 3rd. So we had good conditions on April 3rd. We said, we're going to get out there and, uh, and, and plant the crop. We did. Came up, uh, you know, it took a while because it was cold. Came up 
17 days later, right at the VC growth stage, and then we had a hard frost. And we thought, oh, this is history. But here's the thing. Soybean has axillary buds in, in, in the axles of the cotyledon. And as long as those cotyledons are still got some green to them, that means there's an axillary bud that those soybean well, plants can regrow from. So, you know, when it comes to frost damage, the uh, earlier the growth stage, the better. I mean, if it's at uh, v, v, uh, C instead of VE, uh, that makes a big difference. And this year, by far, our highest yielding soybean is the ones we put in in the, in the beginning of April, even though they took a hard frost. Now, in Ontario, we always like to think about, uh, you know, some cold, wet weather that we might get. But from your perspective, hey, it is keep an eye on the weather and those soil conditions. Make sure they're fit and you're comfortable to go. Yeah, I think, you know, you know, when it when it talk when it, when you look at things that growers can do to increase soybean yield, again, getting that canopy out as quick as you can. Um, you know, it, it, by planting early, we, we actually get another note or two on the plant. And that note or two gives us a huge potential for more pods. So, you know, I would look ahead in the weather, but uh, you're going to see, I think, at least in uh, in Illinois, you're going to see a huge shift to planting the soybean ahead of the corn because we're starting to realize that corn yield is all about uniform emergence. Soybean yield is all about having that leaf canopy out on the on the longest day. And it, you know, it's an easy it's an easy management practice to adapt. Well, wow. well, hey, Fred, some great uh, insights. Thanks for joining me on Soybean School. My pleasure.